So we have here the initial design of the ventilator. Uh, this is using off-the-shelf parts, primarily found in cars and trucks. Um, I bought everything on Amazon, but it can be found in local shops. Um, and cars and trucks normally use pretty reliable parts. And I'm gonna go through the design in this second, in a, in a second uh, section of the video, so you can see how the process works. Uh, first of all, I want to clarify a couple of things. This is, in, this is a non-FDA approved uh, design or ventilator, and the intention of this is it's uh, for educational purposes. It's not meant yet to be used with a patient. Uh, so I'm going to go through the design. But first of all, there is a uh, something I want to talk about, and that's specifically around the supply chain. So the design of this um, ventilator, the purpose of it is so that it can be built with parts that are uh, used off the shelf, like parts that are being used in our industries. Um, one of the industries that has a good supply chain and can be found pretty much anywhere in the world is cars and trucks. You find them any, everywhere. Uh, there, there are a bunch of local shops that sell spare parts as well as online online stores. Everything that I use here was literally bought, um, I bought everything on, on Amazon. The, uh, the design goes this way. Um, so there is a compressor over here. So all this section is the air coming in. Now, some hospitals do have um, what is called medical air. And if that's available and it has enough pressure, that can be used um, uh, with the system. The compressor, uh, if th this is not available, well, we can use a compressor. And basically the design process is goes into an air filter, then it goes into a fresh regulator. And then for the fresh regulator, there are two valves over here. Um, the first one, and I'm going to show the entire process how it works. This one is open and this one is closed. And then the air goes over here and it starts going into this direction. This over here, it's closed. So what's happening is filling up the tank. Whenever this is being filled up, this pushes this um, cylinder all the way up. And then there is a switch over here. So what this switch does, it clicks the switch, tell pretty much the system that it's full. And what it does, it closes now this valve, it opens this one, and it opens this one. So as you can see, now the air starts flowing this way, with this valve open, it goes this way. It also, as soon as this button is pushed, it opens this valve. This one, it's closed. It closes this one, actually. Um, so what happens is the air is going into the patient now. Now when the cylinder comes all the way down, there's a second switch at the bottom. What this switch does is it basically does the opposite. Now it clo it closes this valve, it opens this one, uh, it closes this one, it closes this one, and it opens this one so that the patient can excel. And this is what I call in this design contaminated air. Um, when that happens uh, over here, when this gets pressed and then it starts pushing all the way up again, basically just keeps doing that cycle over and over. Um, and this air doesn't go this way, uh, so there's valve that close it, and also the pressure of the air is just pushing it this way. And that way we can keep the air contained in this section. Uh, the second thing is, there's a lot of conversations on this part over here. One super important thing, and, and I keep hearing this in multiple conversations, is basically you need to filter out the air of the patient, the, the, the air that has been exhaled. Um, because it's contaminated and you don't want to spread this in, in a room or with other people around. Um, and currently in the design, I have a Yulpa filter. 
which is an ultra low particle filter. Uh, it filters, apparently, it's way more efficient than a, uh, or more efficient in general than a HEPA filter. Um, it filters 0.12, it's designed to filter 0.12 microns. Um, and, and just to give you an idea, HEPA filters are for 0.3 microns. So it's filtering. I know certain people are using HEPA filters, it's just more efficient than the ULPA filter. And that's what we have right here in the design. Okay, I have a second, the second page is basically the electric diagram. I'm not going to go through it, but it's um, basically just the entire system works with relays right now and with the switches over here, as simple as possible. The original design had an Arduino and an LCD screen, but I just wanted to make it as simple as possible so that um, the, the idea of replicating these very quickly with minimal knowledge and minimal expertise can be done.